really talented guy has been working on using a lower level audio protocol for MAME called Audio Stream Input Out or um, you know ASIO for short but the basically the gist of this is that with a normal MAME setup you're going to have about a frame of audio latency uh, just because of you know going through all the sound APIs and, and you know all that garbage. So what this gets you is the ability to get literally no audio lag at all. I'm gonna see if I can make a video of this. I don't know if it's gonna work when I'm capturing video or if the video is gonna mess it up, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Just note that the settings here are all are all jacked because um, yeah, you know I, I don't do any I'm not do anything special with the video here. Where this is audio. So I want you to notice this right now. When I'm switching from character to character, notice how it's just boom right on the money, no delay. And I'll, I'll, I'll fire up like a standard version of MAME after this just so you can have like basis for comparison. But look at this crap. Look at how fast those sounds are coming out. I mean, just it's just instantaneous. The second the block happens, you hear the sound effect. The second that sonic boom comes out, instantly you, you hear the sonic boom sample. Oh, Jesus, that's fresh. Look at that crap. Right, right as he falls, right as he falls, you hear the sound. Oh my god, that is fresh. So, Jesus. Okay, so let's fire up a standard version of main here just so you can see a basis for comparison. Are, are, are you hearing that crap? There's just just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit, 16 millisecond delay on, on those uh, ping sounds when you switch. You see how you don't hear him say Sonic Boom until it's just out a little bit? There's just a little bit of latency there. And to see this that little bit of delay when he gets hit and versus when you hear the sound. Okay, I'm, I'm going to uh, bust out the um, you know the, the the good version again so you can get another load of this crap. Oh man! Holy Jesus! Look at that crap when I jump up and I do the attack in midair. It just instantly comes out. Okay, so um, 
Essentially, with the settings on this, I'm able to put in um, an audio latency setting of 0.1, whereas the lowest you can get without breakup and artifacts in standard MAME is just one. Um, and, and you can see, you know, this little tray that you get here uh, when you run this crap. It's actually running this. Um, you know, ASIO for all program, which is what actually gives us, you know, the audio output, you know, without having uh, sound hardware that natively supports this protocol. And so I, I'm going to put together a guide after this because this is essential now. This isn't optional anymore. You're doing this or your setup is inferior. That, that's the bottom line here. We're talking about cutting out over 75 milliseconds worth of latency potentially on audio in, in all the games in MAME. This is a game changer. This is a deal breaker. I mean, we're talking, if you have a CRT arcade monitor and a Groovy MAME setup, we really are talking about zero difference between a real board and that setup at this point because audio latency was one of the last unsolved problems with this stuff. Uh, this blows me away. Holy crap.